Hi, my name is John, and today I'm trying to show you a what I would consider a 90% complete solution to restore your Torchmate settings on a box that maybe where they got messed up. Um, assuming you have like architectures from one PC to another PC, then you may be able to go and install the software on the second PC and execute this and get most of your settings and customization. Um, it is not a perfect solution. I have not been able to find out where all settings are being stored, but most of the settings for the most part appear to be stored in the registry. Now originally when I was trying to find out how to back up, the, back up these uh, settings and customizations it was because the software was always reverting back to original states and things for some reason or another. I think um, the software on my old computer was crashing quite often and the hard crashes were messing up the settings. So um, again this is not a perfect solution and I'll show you an example of why it's not a perfect solution but um, I'll show you what I the steps about how I go about doing this um, your steps are going to be much more simplified because you can learn from what I did so for instance um, this is my Torchmate CAD software in the background it's generally um, there is a setting or two I want to tweak on it but it's about where I want it to be as far as customization goes so I downloaded a program. Let me delete this file. That was a test. So this program called RedShot, and I have a 64-bit machine. So I'm going to go ahead and just ex execute the ANSI version of this. I don't know the difference between the ANSI and Unicode version. Um, both seem to do the same thing for me. So I'm going to go ahead and take first shot and just say shot. And what this will do is it'll scan my registry. Now the reason why I'm scanning the registry is because somebody had said that. Hey, if you want to back up your Torchmate, go under the Torchmate CAD directory. You can see the path right here. Um, and go in here and back up all of these .ini files. Let me filter on these .ini. So filtering on these .ini files, you can see there are a lot of files in here. And if you were to open them, you can see, hey, there's you know some custom settings in here. Um, that's the font manager one. If I were to, let me pick a larger file like this CAD link one here. It looks like, hey, you know, maybe this is where my settings are being truly stored. But they don't appear to be. These seem to be more like settings on how the software is configured and controlled. However, it probably would not hurt to back these files up. So you can take all of these INI files, Control A, Control C for copy, come in here and back them up, Control V, and hey, what do you want to do? I'm going to copy and replace, do this for the next 70 conflicts. Yes, yes. So I back those up. I do not think that these are going to give you anything for as far as the um, custom settings go. I would back them up if you want to. I haven't found a need to do that. So that's just my little disclaimer there, I guess. So now what I'm going to do is come into my Torchmate software and I want to know where within the registry because it has to be storing these settings somewhere so I assume the registry so I wanted to check um, how am I going to check the registry well go take a snapshot of your registry make a change like make this a 4x4 table and for fun let's just go tools um, let's go change our toolbars to small Okay, and I just made a couple of changes. Now if I go back into my red shot and do the second shot, it's going to take another shot of my registry and compare the values that it found to the values in the first one. It'll show me the differences, or it'll at least give me a compare button. So we'll click compare. And as soon as this opens, you'll see differences, which will include all differences on the machine not just the CAD link ones, but as you can see from this, I have CAD link up here. Um, CAD link, um, CAD link, whatever. So I'm going to look for something specific. If I were to search in the registry for CAD link, I may get a lot of hits. It's not that unique. Toolbar info, that looks pretty generic to me too. So I'm going to take this. Hey, toolbars bar six. That's probably unique enough that I'm going to just copy that and I'm going to close this window and I don't need this anymore so I'm going down to start run and type reg edit r-e-g-e-d-i-t I don't know if you can see that on my screen I already know where this is at because of previous tests but I'll just go ahead and show you the methodology that I went through so edit find 
paste this and now it's going to search through all of these values and attributes that are stored within the registry probably hundreds of thousands of them depending on what you have installed on your system and it will look for that specific string that I put in the find field and it will find it here in a minute okay so as you can see it found toolbars bar 6 which is very unique you can also see I have other toolbar information in here all of these fall under the toolbar info folder which falls under the CAD link folder however if you keep going up the tree here the file structure you'll notice that there is another CAD link and this one if you follow that up is underneath software which is under each key current user now I went searching, just take my word for it, I went searching in other directories like HK Local Machine under software for CAD link specific settings. I did not see any. So what we want to concentrate on is this specific CAD link folder, which is basically the parent folder for all of the Torchmate software, um, at least for the registry settings. So if I were to right click on this and say export, and I can place this on my desktop, I'm going to call this Torchmate backup and save that and it'll save it as a .reg file, reg file. Um, I just want to go down here and double check this one more time under H key local machine software. I just want to make sure there isn't anything there and I want under not only software but underneath system. Okay. So I just want to make sure there weren't there weren't any other CAD link folders under there. Um, don't worry about why. Uh, I don't want to explain it, but um, if I were to go into my Torchmate software now, actually, um, the backup I just took is going to restore it to this state. So let's go correct the state. Material size, I actually have a 2x4, so let's make it like this. Whoa. Apparently I didn't do that right. 48 by 24 that looks a little better. Okay, and we're going to go into View, Toolbars. There is another setting or two I'd like to customize, but um, I'll do that in a minute. You don't have to sit here and watch me do that. So I've got this basically the way I like it, so I'm going to go ahead and close it. I don't need to save anything. The file, the registry changes are made on the fly. Let's delete the original backup that I had because it's wrong. I'll go back into RegEdit. And if you go back into RegEdit, it should be on the folder where I left, so I'm just going to go ahead and right click on that, export it again, call it Torchmate Backup, save that, and here is our backup file. And again, our INI files, which I don't think are really doing anything specifically as far as uh, storing values or parameters for customized things in, in the software. They do have parameters and things like that and how the software is to operate, but I don't see a reason to, to back that up. Just heads up on that. So this one registry backup file, and this is why I say this is an impartial solution, because this will restore most of my settings. I have noticed that it does not restore all of my settings, and I the reason why I I'm calling this a partial solution is because I cannot find the location where the rest of the settings are stored. So if somebody finds them and you, you want to uh, tell me where they're at, I'll be happy to make another tutorial and um, in addition to this one and sh show you how to get a complete solution. But let's show you why it's an impartial or uh, a partial solution. But it gets you 95% of the way there. So I'm going to edit a few things. Let's go edit our layout again. Call material size we're going to make it a 4x4, four four, kind of mess it up again, um, mess it up for my scenario. It would be nice to have a 4x4, four four, but I don't have the space, so. Customize, not shortcuts, let's go into View, Toolbars, Customize, and I have not played around with all the settings as to what it will and what it will not back up. I'm assuming it will back up most of them. But one setting that it will not back up, back up is my grid. If I zoom in, I have a grid of lines every eighth inch. If I back out, you don't see them, they disappear, which is fine. That's the way I like it. So I'm going to go into Options, Grid, and uncheck this Show Grid as Lines. Now if I zoom in again, you notice my lines disappeared, but I have all these little dots or plus symbols. That is one, one of the settings that will not be stored within the registry. That is one of the settings that must be stored somewhere else, but I have not figured out where. I have restored INI files and my registry and it still has not affected that. So let me show you what I mean. 
I'm going to double click on my .reg file. It's going to basically give me a big warning saying I can mess things up. I'm going to execute it and it's done. Now if I open up my Torchmate software, you'll notice I have all of my toolbars. However, and, and you'll notice my layout just changed and you'll notice that my icons are large again. So the customizations, customized settings that I put in are there. Now if I zoom in, you'll notice my grid still doesn't have those lines restored. So this is why I called it a parcel. parcel uh, forgive my uh, slurring of speech. I've been talking into this microphone multiple times for many tutorials and uh, finally have one that I'm going to use. So I'll come back in here and I'll put the lines back in, which is no big deal. But that setting specifically is not stored within the registry and it is not stored within the INI files. If, if one of you, again, find the location where these miscellaneous settings are stored, I would love to hear it. Okay, so now I'm going to come in here and execute this file again because I've noticed a problem with it um, in the past, past testing. Now I open this up again and notice that one of my toolbars is missing. So if I go into view toolbars and show my tools, it comes back. And I don't know whether you would have that same problem, but that toolbar just goes missing. And I can't explain why. It has to be a change somewhere. It's just a change I have not been able to track down. So again, let's uh, let's just go and mess a couple of things up. And the material size is the easiest one for me to mess with. And then going changing my toolbars. Um, I could go and try shortcut keys and things like that, but um, those are a little harder to show and track. I'm trying to keep this tutorial short, short as possible. So just take this Torchmate file again. Now let's just prove it. I'm going to open up my Torchmate CAD software. You can see it's still that layout I just left it in. Execute this file. Re-execute my Torchmate software, launch it, and you'll see it's mostly there. So here's a partial solution to backing up your customized settings, um, but it is not a complete solution. But it's you know if, if your settings got messed up, it's going to put you pretty close. And again, if any of you have any more details on how you go about backing up your settings, uh, feel free to post a note in the comments and let me know, and we'll come up with a more complete solution. Thanks for watching.